Hello everyone, welcome to the Mail Theory channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the architecture of Azure DevOps Server. We will also cover what is Azure DevOps Server, why do you need Azure DevOps Server, what is the topology the Azure DevOps Server will use, what are the benefits out of it. So this is we're going to cover in this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. Let's get into the, the video. Now, so if you look at this architecture diagram, and let me quickly erase all these things. Now, if you if you look at this, um, the Azure DevOps Server, the architecture, right? First of all, what is an Azure DevOps Server? So this can be one or more servers okay in a domain or a or group where all the the devops related elements can be deployed and hosted okay all DevOps services or you can call it as elements can be hosted or deployed in a single server. So what are those services or elements here? So here you can you can see here we have a, a build server right you have a build agents you have a proxy right and you have some folders here so the devops server is used to manage your deployment okay so using Azure DevOps Server, you will manage your deployments. Second thing, most of the cases, this is used as on an environments. Three. If you want more control, then the uh, Azure DevOps server is, is preferred. Okay. Now again, I'll go back here. The next thing is let's understand what is the the topology how exactly it will be there okay now the simplest topology is single server in environment that means you have your build server agents your database or your uh, pipelines running in in it And if you look at the, the components, what do we have here in this? 
right? So using this same simplest topology or the server, okay, I'll go back to the architecture here quickly, right? So Now, if you look at the uh, the build server here, right? So the build server is nothing but where you have your logical application tier. It is what we call it as where you have all your version controlling, your uh, you know kind of a worker process running to track all your ta tasks and everything, right? Your, um, your framework services will be running. Your um, IS will be running, right? Yeah, then these are, these are the very uh, logical app tier, but it also contains a, a database, guys, in the back end. Why you would need a, a data database here? Because in order to maintain any data tier, you require a, a database. For example, the, the configuration. So in this case, you have three servers. You have a fourth server here, you have a TF proxy here. So this configuration, you should be um, saved somewhere in your data tier using a backend database, right? Similarly, you will be having a, a team project collection databases. Each project can be, can they have a, they have a, you know, uh, individual databases to track all the you know uh, the activities and all those things as part of the project right so these are high level uh, uh, tier level explanation the logical application tier and the data, data tier okay now we will also talk about the, the client tier. So now this is going to be your uh, client tier where you have your developers. Okay. So this is going to be your client tier. And the backend database is always remember it is it is SQL server. Okay. That comes with the SQL server. Right. And this is completely uh, authentication is getting used by Azure Active Directory. Okay. This is your AD authentication because it's part of the domain. So why you need a TF, TFS proxy here, guys? Because TFS proxy is, helps you to connect remote clients, like example here, in this case, developers. Okay. And uh, it is also make sure that um, it is also connecting your actual builds out in your own mate. This always uses um, port 8080. And your database always uses because it's an SQL. It always uses one four three three four. Yeah. So this is a the high level um, architecture of a DevOps server. Now let's understand why do you need a DevOps server actually when compared to the Azure services, right?
Now let's understand the difference between the DevOps server versus DevOps services. So setup required, yes. Setup not required. You need a infrastructure. So that means there is a cost. Not required. Three expertise to manage manage the server yes not required here for more control from Data tier point of view, yes, no control at all. You cannot download any data, there is no database here, first of all, right? And six point monitoring required. Yes, not required because there is no infrastructure. The other thing is connectivity issues. Yes, for developers, because you always have a proxy and everything. Here, it's a SaaS, it's a platform, it's no connectivity issues. Right? And patching and updating because this is you have OS, you have your you know uh, DB, you have uh, IS running. So this requires a, a patching and updating whenever there is Microsoft updates. Here, not required. So from all these points, what do you understand? Because I prefer, I definitely going to prefer the DevOps services instead of DevOps server, right? Now, so, so far a quick recap, we covered the architecture of DevOps server and uh, why do you need DevOps server? and uh, what is the, the logical uh, application tier, right? And what is the data tier with database and the client tier? And we also discussed about why you need the DevOps server first of all, and then the simplest topology, single server topology, and the difference between the Azure DevOps server and DevOps services. Okay, so guys, uh, if you need any more information, please use the comment uh, section and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So this is Sai signing off. Thank you so much and have a nice day ahead.